Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Shotgun Throw Devi Puzzles to Puzzle You. Today we're going to be looking at problem number 7. Bicycle Thieves. A friend of mine runs a bicycle shop and he narrated to me this following story. A man who looked like a tourist came to his shop one day and bought a bicycle or bike from him for 350 rupees. The cost price of the bike was 300 rupees. So my friend was happy that he made a profit of 50 rupees on the sale. However, at the time of settling the bill, the tourist offered to pay in traveler's checks as he had no cash money to offer him. My friend hesitated. He had no arrangement with the banks to encash traveler's checks, but he remembered that the shopkeeper next door has such a provision. And so he took the checks to his friend next door and got the cash from him. The traveler's checks were all rupees 100 each, and so he had taken four checks from the tourist, totaling 400 rupees. On encashing them, my friend paid back the tourist the balance of 50 rupees. The tourist happily climbed the bicycle and pedaled away, whistling a tune. However, the next morning, my friend's neighbor, who had taken the traveler's check to the bank, called him and returned the checks, which had proved valueless, and demanded the refund of his money. My friend quietly refunded the money to his neighbor and tried to trace the tourist who had given him the worthless checks and taken away his bicycle. But the tourist could not be found. How much did my friend lose altogether in this unfortunate transaction? Okay, so just out of the blue, this seems like a lot. But in this, the actual main part is just from this 50 rupees thing and then this a man who looked like a tourist part. So that you should so if you have the book, just read that part and you should you should understand what's going on. So, okay. Let's, uh, let me open my book. Okay. Okay, so, first they said that a man who looked like a tourist came to the shop and bought a bicycle. Okay, so let's draw our bike. Okay, that's not a good bike, but it's fine. So they said that the bike originally costs 300. Okay, so what's the bike cost? 350. Okay. But the tourist bought it for, sorry, this is 300. But the tourist bought it for three fifty, so he got a fifty dollar profit. Fifty plus. So, so the tourist didn't pay the check yet. He didn't pay. Well, not check. He didn't. He didn't give the money yet. So then, when he was coming to buy the bike, the tourist said that he doesn't have ma he doesn't have cash money, like physical money. He said he could give checks. So, okay, the store owner said, okay, I'll take it. And he took them and gave them to his friend to, end, to cash it. So, let's talk about the checks. So, the traveler's checks were 100 each. And how many were there? Four. So, let's draw four checks. Okay. 
Okay, so this is 100, 100, 100, 100. Okay, so these are all 100 each. So, what the what did the tourist say? He said he wanted to pay 350, but he gave 400. So he gave 50. So he gave the 50 to the tourist. He gave 50 dollars rupees to the tourist. So in this, at the end. What do we understand? We understand that these checks have no value. Which means he got zero for the bike and he gave $50 to him. So how much did he lose? He lost this, the value of the bike plus the $50 he gave as change. So how much did he lose? He lost 350 350 rupees so this I would never take checks but if I was the store owner but I it's fine this is just a mathematical thing but yeah this is the answer so altogether his friend lost 350 rupees wow that's quite a lot of money so that's the answer. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please share with your friends and family members. Please also subscribe to my channel and please like this video. Also, stay tuned for my next video where I solve number eight, the bus number.